So a new Takagi-san 3 trailer has dropped, and this one is chocked full of references to stories that will probably be adapted into animation. In this video, I'm going to break down each reference that I could find to speculate on what we can expect in Season 3. A big thanks to Rymation who found most of these. I will leave a link to their channel in the description and on the end card. Also, if you're not a manga reader, be warned that I am going to discuss the basic plots of the stories referenced. The first shot is fairly easy to identify if you know what to look for. Notice that Nishikata's skin is slightly darker than Takagi's, despite them usually having the same skin tone. As such, this first shot is likely from an adaptation of the manga's 92nd chapter, Sunburn. The next shot is a little harder to identify. Given the darker colour palette of the scene, I would assume that this is taking place after school. And given the expression, I would guess that this is a part of an adaptation of the manga's 101st chapter, Forgotten Homework. That's a very loose guess though. How Rymation managed to remember this I will never know, because I certainly wouldn't have. But this clip of Takagi holding up two fingers is seemingly a nod to chapter 117, Price Guessing Game. The next shot implies that the showrunners will continue to make changes to the story as they see fit, as the box Nishikata is holding here definitely resembles the one he challenges Takagi with in chapter 87, Box. Although that manga chapter took place in the classroom, whereas this adaptation takes place outside. The next one is a little trickier to place, but once again, thanks to Rymation, there are hints in this frame that suggest that this shot is adapted from chapter 17, Dream. Well, the one hint is this guy sleeping in the background, just as these guys do in the manga chapter. His sleeping also suggests that this takes place during a self-study period, which we don't see a lot of throughout the narrative. Furthermore, it has been speculated that an original looking shot from the first trailer was also a loose adaptation of Dream, so another hint towards that story fits. This shot is a little perplexing. According to the English subtitles by Shonen Zup, what Takagi is saying here is, this is strategy, which mixed with the attire is obviously a dandy quote. But he predominantly features in Chapter 19, Questions, a story that was already adapted in Season 2. Maybe it'll be a callback, or maybe that story is getting a follow-up? I suppose we'll have to wait and see. The next identifiable shot is an easy one. There is only one story where Nishikata and Takagi play baseball with a broom, and that is Chapter 104, Demon Pitch. On the opposite end of the spectrum, we have Takagi laughing at Nishikata while they walk home, and the two in class, which are far too vague and general to narrow down. Although if you have any ideas, I would love to hear them in the comments. After a couple of shots that don't correspond with anything in the manga, suggesting original stories, we get back into familiar territory. This shot of the two walking is likely from the beginning of chapter 89, Fishing. This is not the only reference we get to fishing in this trailer. We get far more obvious references right after, including Takagi grabbing Nishikata to maintain his balance, and Nishikata getting embarrassed when Takagi says koi. The brief shot of Nishikata and Takagi in the snow is likely a reference to chapter 62, Snowman. Next, we get a sequence that isn't obviously connected to any manga chapter. Nishikata gets down on one knee, and it makes Takagi feel like a princess. This is about the least solid prediction in this video, but this could be an extremely loose adaptation of the manga's 114th chapter, Types. All I really have to go on is that Types is a manga chapter that also involves roleplay with a romantic undertone. The next shot is another that I gotta thank Rymation for, as I probably wouldn't have figured it out on my own. This brief moment of the two getting closer is likely from an adaptation of chapter 86, Fan. The next shot is another easy one. Takagi and Nishikata walking a dog is likely from chapter 111, Dog Walk. Hopefully this means we'll also get an adaptation of chapter 85, Dog, which means we'll get another Fudatsuki no Kyoko-chan character appearing in anime form after Hibino made a brief appearance last season. The clip of a sleigh flying through the sky is likely a reference to chapter 69, End of the Year. While that part of the story is fun and all, what I'm really looking forward to is an adaptation of the following chapter, where the duo get each other Christmas presents. 
The next couple of shots are fairly obvious. The Claw Game is a clear adaptation of Chapter 106, Claw Game, the Sunset is an adaptation for Chapter 115, Sunset, and the brief shot of Nishkata jogging is also likely from Sunset. Side note, I love how the sky looks in this shot. Whenever I see a sky like this at my own home, I know that I'm in for a banger of a sunset. The trailer then gets a little dramatic, with a shot of Nishkata running after Takagi with a box in his hand. This box hints that this could be a loose or modified adaptation of Chapter 99, returning the favour. At first, I wondered if the shot of Takagi and Nishkata out at night would be a loose adaptation of Chapter 109, Night Time. But after reviewing the relevant chapters for this video, I wonder if it might be a modified adaptation of Chapter 70, End of Year Part 2. The story I brought up before, wherein our characters get each other Christmas presents. I would love to see that story given a more meaningful ending, and I have faith that these showrunners will hit it out of the park. Following this are shots of the two on a ferry, which could be an original story. This appears to follow the Christmas shot as Nishkata is wearing the scarf that he was holding there. So that's the trailer breakdown, but before we go, I have a prediction to make. The second season had a running motif throughout its run. Hand holding. It came up time and time again, character progression could be tracked through it, and the finale of the season involved our main characters holding hands. Looking at the stories we have coming up this season, I wonder if the running motif might be relationships. If I was right about Forgotten Homework being adapted, that story's conflict revolves around couples. Types and fishing are about the characters becoming closer, willingly or not. And if Returning the Favour and End of the Year are getting expanded adaptations, I can see them going in that direction. But again, that's all speculation. There's no way of knowing until the anime airs in... Less than a month, and you can get some episode discussions right here, so subscribe if you haven't already. That's all for this video. I'd like to thank my patrons Orion Tran, Lars Espen, Data52, Jamman5, Lemon Shark, Pix Calibar, Alberto Cruz, Tyler Bennett, Tanker, Jeremy Pashik, Fireclaw, Soren, Christopher Wang, and Will. If you would like to support the channel further, consider becoming a patron yourself. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.